Manual SMS and Campaigns. Select the Templates tab to the left hand side of your screen, where you can now choose the lime green Add New button to the top right hand corner. To change the name of your template, click on the blue plus button and enter the content of the SMS in the pink field above. Remember to press save before moving on from this stage. You can edit or delete templates at any time. Click on Campaigns, Campaign Recodes, where you can now choose a trigger word to recode your patient responses. Click on the Add New button and enter the name of your campaign. Create your trigger word where you can now enter your read code. Please note this will need to be prepared before this stage. You will always be given a read code term. Once you've entered your read code correctly, read code text will allow you to add any additional information to the patient's record. You will need to choose an expiry date. This will indicate how long you would like to read code the patient's responses back onto their record. You can activate trigger words at any time by clicking on the edit button and changing the expiry date. To send manual SMS communication to your patients, select the message tab on the left hand side of your screen. You can choose to search for your patients individually. Type in the patient's name into your search bar and double click on the patient's name to move them into recipients. You can also choose to contact patients via a patient group. This will need to be prepared beforehand. Highlight the group and use your blue arrow to move the patients into recipient. You can delete patients from your recipients list should you need to. Now you will need to choose the template you would like to use to contact your patients. Highlight the content of the template underneath the template heading and use your blue arrow to move the message into the box on the right. You can Type directly into the message box should you not want to use a template. Please note 160 characters is one SMS length. One credit will be deducted per one SMS length. Press next to continue. In the final stage of sending a manual SMS, you will need to choose your time settings. You can schedule messages for a later date. Select send later, choose your date and the time you would like to send the SMS. A default recode, SMS sent, will be added automatically for you. However, you can add a recode, such as recording an invitation has been sent to the patient. You may wish to change your reply email. Select Change. This will always default to the person logged into the iPlato system. To change this, select Custom and type the new email address into the pink field. You can add multiple email addresses. Remember to press the blue plus button and press the save button once you're happy with the changes you've made. Now select confirm to send where a message confirmation summary will appear in front of you, which is the final opportunity to review the information being sent to your patients via SMS. You can save a copy of your message confirmation summary by ticking the box below. Press send when you're happy where you will see a notification letting you know your SMS has been sent.